Welcome to Janet's Planet. In May 1961, President John F. Kennedy commits the U.S. to something extraordinary. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. The program is named Apollo. On July 16, 1969, the 11th Apollo spacecraft was launched from Kennedy Space Center. On July 20, 1969, as the Eagle prepared to land, Neil Armstrong found that the onboard computer was steering it into a rocky crater with potentially disastrous results. He seized control and flew over the crater with less than 30 seconds of fuel left, leaving mission control powerless to do anything other than watch and trust his judgment. With about 20 seconds of fuel left, the craft touched down. Houston Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Later, Armstrong emerged from the Eagle's hatch and climbed down the exit ladder. And as he set foot on the surface of the moon, he uttered these famous words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Buzz Aldrin joined Armstrong on the surface, where they spent about two hours gathering rocks and deploying experiments. Michael Collins, command module pilot, fired the rocket engine that would fly the crew home and into the pages of history. In honor of one of the most impressive milestones in the history of humankind, friends of mine are attempting to make July 20th a permanent, non-paid commemorative national holiday, a day to honor the bold steps of Apollo 11 by celebrating every July 20th. Here are a few ideas how you and your family can celebrate July 20th, Space Exploration Day. Rev up for the celebration by having steak and eggs for breakfast because that's what the astronauts had the morning of the Apollo 11 launch. And sometime during the week of July 16th through the 24th, have your family take a nature walk or hike to celebrate the spirit of exploration. Have a star party complete with telescopes or make a model rocket and launch it in your yard or a nearby park. Go to your local planetarium or science center. Watch some classic space science fiction movies like Metropolis, The Day the Earth Stood Still, Forbidden Planet, 2001 Space Odyssey, Alien, or Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. On July 20th, gaze up at the moon and eat a moon pie, remembering that astronauts have been there and will return someday. And don't forget to have a glass of tang the breakfast drink of the Apollo astronauts. You can even dress up and have a dance party under the stars, dressed as your favorite alien, astronaut, or futuristic robot. Making July 20th Space Exploration Day would help remind us of our excitement and pride at the Apollo lunar landings, the many successful space shuttle flights, the building of the International Space Station, the wonders of the universe through the eyes of the Hubble telescope, Historian Arthur Schlesinger Jr. said, the 20th century will be remembered when all else is forgotten as the century when man burst his terrestrial bonds and began the exploration of space. So do your part and sign the petition to make July 20th Space Exploration Day a permanent non-paid commemorative national holiday to celebrate the anniversary of the first historic landing of men on the moon. To sign the petition, simply go to spaceexplorationday.us and sign. Help us honor the bold steps of Apollo 11 with a giant national celebration on July 20th for the wonder and exhilaration of space exploration. And that's the view from Janet's Planet.